Hey y'all, I'm gonna teach y'all how to obtain a 800 credit score. Before I jump into anything, let's talk about why it's best for you to have good credit. So when having good credit, you have to understand that that can open up a lot of different doors for a lot of y'all. Y'all got to change the way y'all think about credit. Like, credit is not evil. This actually can create you generational wealth. This can get you that new line of credit that you want and get some money on your belt. This can get you a new house, a new car, put your kids in the best school. Y'all just have to tune into this. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys the formula of what I use to how to get that 800 credit score. And then on another video that I might make um, down the line, I'm going to teach you guys where it states it in the law of how you can take control of your credit. So there's five main factors you want to take control when it comes to your credit. So the number one is going to be your payment history which is gonna be 35%. Then you got your utilization, and that's 30%. Then you got your length of credit, and that's gonna be 15%. Then you got your mixed credit, and that's gonna be 10%. Then you got your new credit, and that's gonna be another 10%. So to put this in your head more, just think of it as 35, 30, 15, 10, 10. 35, 30, 15, 10, 10. I'm going to draw it out for you guys on the board so you guys can get more of a clear understanding of what to look for when, whenever you think about credit. So behind me, you guys can see that I created a pie chart so you guys can get that more of an understanding of, you know, the 35% is your payment history. Then you got your utilization, and that's your 30%. Then you got your new credit, it's going to be 10%. Your mixed credit is going to be 10%. And then your length of credit is going to be 15%. Now, here's the best part and what I discovered. So, as y'all can see behind me, so y'all see that 35 is your utilize, I mean, is your payment history, and then you see 30% is your utilization. Now, here's what I discovered. Now, it, it, FICO is an algorithm, right? So, it takes whatever is on your consumer report and it generates numbers, and that's what gives you your FICO score, right? So I discovered that your payment history, which is the 35%, is equal to 192.5 points. Then you have your utilization, and that's equal to 165 points. Then you have your length of credit, and that's 82.5 points. And then you got your uh, mixed credit, and then you got your new credit, and those both equal to 55 points apiece. But I want you guys to stay more focused on the payment history and the utilization. So I'm going to draw this out on the board for you guys so y'all can have more of a clear understanding of what this is adding up to. Give me one second. So we got 35. And then you got 30%. You add them up together. That gives you a 6. And they give you 65%. Right? Now y'all remember I said that y'all payment history is 192.5 and your utilization is 165. I'm gonna add these up. So just by knowing simple math, 192.5 and 165, that's gonna give you 357.5 points, my people. 357.5 points. So let's say you got like a 504 credit score, like and you start to take control of your consumer report, I promise you guys, y'all gonna have an 800 credit score of a rip just by taking advantage of the payment history and the utilization. So like I stated before, your FICO is an algorithm. It takes what's on your consumer report and it gives you numbers, it gives you a score. I hope this information that I gave you guys and the examples um, gives value to somebody hope it touches somebody to understand that do not give up in life like this is just beginning you're just getting started and i want you guys to take control of your life coming into the 2024 and then after that just take off just by knowing that there's more on the other side i'm just a messenger i want you guys to be strong and i love you all if y'all like this information just give me a like share follow and also the comment and just stay tuned to the next episode. I'm out.